Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have another new arrival to show you. This is the 2020 and a half Forest River Arctic Wolf model 298 LB. Comes in about 34 feet and is about 9,050 pounds unloaded. Uh, this is basically the small version of the 3660 Arctic Wolf. So uh, if you like this video, but want something a little bit bigger, uh, check out my video on the 3660 Arctic Wolf, which I will leave a link to in the description below. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the interior features and then we'll come back out and check out the exterior ones. All right guys, so we're in the living and kitchen area of this 298 LB Arctic Wolf. And we'll start on the back here. So as you can see, you've got a nice tri-fold sleeper sofa. This will come out into a queen-size bed approximately. Uh, so you can sleep two extra people here. You have nice side tables on each side. These are going to have thermal foil pressed membrane uh, countertops there. On this side, you'll notice you have two little cubby holes there. You also have USB and power outlets on each side so if your guests need to charge phones or anything they can do that same thing on the other side now this one is blocked off and I get a lot of questions about that on these Arctic Wolves and your power uh, connection is back here so that's why that's blocked off there's a thing back there that uh, they don't want you putting cargo around <clears throat> up top here um, You've got good extra storage. Now that's kind of hard to get uh, open and film, so I'm not gonna show you the inside of that, but there is good extra storage up there. And you'll notice you've got all these windows. So you've got windows here, windows on the back, and windows on your campsite, looking out at your campground, which is really what you want. So that kind of segues into the freestanding table and chairs. Uh, that this particular unit has. Now, that being said, this is the only dinette arrangement you can get in the 298. Because of the way that they have the entertainment center and pantry positioned, you cannot fit a, a booth table in this particular unit. Um, if that is something that you're looking for, maybe check out one of the other Arctic Wolf bunkhouses. Uh, because there are a couple others that, that do have booth tables in them. There is storage underneath the chairs there, um, which is good, you know, for card games and placemats and things of that sort. This particular one uh, has another option shown. This is the uh, 5200 BTU space heating fireplace. So that is an option uh, that we've applied to this particular one. So uh, that'll, um, that'll only work on 50 amp power too, by the way. Over here you've got your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo with HDMI and USB plugs, so you could add a DVD player if you want to. Uh, here is your RCA cables for your uh, TV if you chose to add one. Now this one does not come with the TV, and it's a, uh, but it does give you the, the mount here should you wish to add a TV to this. And that entertainment center is on a great angle to view from the sofa. Last thing before we move on to the kitchen, they do, or last couple things I should say, these do have the new zebra shades, so you can lend in as little or as much light as you as you like. Um, and then if we look up top, you'll notice you do have a ceiling fan in this particular unit. You also notice dual AC runs, which is awesome. Uh, this has dual 15,000 BTU air conditioners on it and they're on a racetrack ducted system so they're going to be pushing air constantly around the unit which is really neat um, it's a lot more efficient that way and if we look up top again you can look see your uh, main AC unit here and, and we'll get a look at the second one once we get into the master bedroom all right guys let's go ahead and I'll open up some of this storage and we'll take a look at uh, what the kitchen has to offer all right, guys, so we're in the kitchen now of this 20, 20 and a half Arctic Wolf 298. And uh, the first thing I do want to point out, you've got really good countertop space for a shorter fifth wheel. You've got this nice peninsula countertop, so you've got 
good space over here, good space here. Uh, as you can see, you've got this nice stainless or black stainless steel uh, sink cover there, or sink with the cover there. You've got the pull down uh, sprayer froth sprayer faucet. Uh, now that bag is because this unit is winterized, so the antifreeze doesn't drip everywhere. Um, again, thermal foil countertops throughout this entire unit. You've got power outlets there and USB ports. And you'll also have some right here on this, uh, uh, on the front of this peninsula here. If we look down, you can see your uh, propane detector and you'll also notice your one of your heat ducts. Arctic Wolf does use cabinet ducted heating, which leaves a wide open floor space and which is, uh, which allows for easy cleaning and is really the preferable heating system in a bunk model since there's most likely going to be kids running around everywhere. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the fridge option in this one. So this one does have the 10.7 cubic foot Furion RV 12 volt compressor fridge. This will run off of your batteries or 110 and it uh, we'll also run off of the optional juice pack solar panel that is on this particular unit. Uh, this does not run off of propane, and it only uses three amps of electrical power, which is really, really nice, in my opinion. And it, uh, it takes up the physical dimensions, width, and height of an eight cubic foot. It's just deeper. Moving into the kitchen a little more, you've got your uh, graystone cooktop. This does have the light and the auto sparker in the oven, just like the Furion, as well as the blue bowl uh, knobs. And if we lift up this uh, three burner or the cover here, you do have the three burner cooktop. And you also notice the power outlet back there. A lot of times you don't see that in the sidewall of a laminated product, but since Arctic Wolf does use a two inch sidewall, they're able to do that where, when they when they can. Again, this one is uh, basically 9,000 pounds on the, on the nose and is 34 feet in overall length. You've got your hood up here and your microwave up here as well. Handy little extra cabinet right there above your countertop uh, space, which is great. Down below, you've got three extent, full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guide drawers. And you'll notice the silverware extension down here as well. Let me go ahead and close those up real quick. If we take a knee, you'll notice good open space for a trash can um, or pots and pans or whatever you want to stick in there. Uh, and you'll also notice the blue LED lights uh, found throughout this entire coach, including underneath the cabinets. Back over here, you'll notice, again, good extra storage space, which is awesome. Um, now, down here, there's, again, another thing down there that they don't want cargo to hit, so they have that blocked off. And coming up top, you've got nice deep cabinets. Uh, these are your manual override cranks, should you ever need to use them. Most of the time you won't though. And you, they do give you a shelf. Now you may need a two-stepper to get to this upper one, but at least they gave you the storage. And you'll notice the fluted, uh, fluted glass insert panels there which I really like I, I love this new look with the lighter cabinets it really opens up this unit uh, any of the Arctic, Arctic and Alpha Wolves rounding out the kitchen you've got this huge pantry so tons of storage space down there for a trash can or a vacuum or a broom or whatever you want to put in there and then you'll notice you've got three shelves of storage and that is a huge pantry You've got your uh, cable and uh, power outlets back here as well. So uh, that's where all of your uh, TV connections will be. And it is lighted, which is, again, pretty neat. And it is hidden behind this nice door. It even says pantry on it. That, that's a nice touch. All right, guys, let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the bunk room and the loft and see what, uh, what features are going on in there. All right, guys, so we're in the bunk room of this 298 LB Arctic Wolf. And the first thing I want us to, we should talk about is going to be the bunks. What, what kind of sleeping accommodations do we have? So here you've got your jackknife sofa, so this will fold down into one bunk. 
And then you have up here a flip up bunk, teddy bear mattress for that. Uh, 300 pound weight capacity on that, by the way. Um, if we look up top here, you'll notice that more of that blue LED accent light that you find in this unit and every one of the Arctic Wolves. Escape window. And uh, this bunk will flip up during the daytime uh, to allow for more seating space down here. And then down here, I have one pulled out, but you have three of these huge drawers. And these are great for extra kids' clothes or toys or whatever. You, well, really, you wouldn't need them for kids' clothes because you've got a hanging wardrobe in here, which I'll show you in a second. Which is, but again, that's pretty awesome. If we come over here, you've got good extra space down there for really whatever you want to put in there little shelf here so if you want to if the kids want to bring an xbox or a playstation or something they can't they can put that there power cable and uh usb ports there and then you've also got this mount for a tv and you could probably put a 32 inch there fairly easily which would be more than enough for this particular unit you do have ac and heat ducted in there the doors are just covering them uh, so you can't really see them at the moment but there are here down here you've got nice divided storage and notice how deep that is that's that's great for again extra kids clothes or toys and then one thing that they changed from last year's model that i absolutely love is the fact that they give you a hanging rod in here they didn't do that for the 2019 version of this and man arctic wolf you listen if you're if you see this video good call on going with the uh the hanging rod in here it really helps with the storage all right so let's go ahead and in this segment we're also going to hit the control panel and the hallway as well as the loft so right here's your slide out switch for your uh for the slide in the bunk room down here you've got hidden storage for flashlights or whatever you want to put in there um, that's that's a nice touch um, you've got a nice little coat closet right here by the door which is uh, a pretty handy little feature no carpet on the steps you've got the ladder to get into the loft here so and i like that that telescopes out the last year's one didn't and then up here turn on the light real quick you have got a queen size loft teddy bear bunk mat plywood decking underneath here so uh, it's going to be really sturdy if you need to sleep adults up here you can um, you do have if we look up top you do have cable usb and power so if you want to mount a tv here um, i personally wouldn't you really it, it's just going to take up more of the sleeping space uh, you do have an ac duct running up through there and a window which is pretty cool and i love this little wrought iron handrail thing that it's, it's a nice touch and i like that it is closed off on that end so they do have some privacy there's a lot of brands now that are opening that up and continuing this all the way around so you can see up in the loft in the living area or from the living area i should say um, which is personally i i don't like it um there's somebody out there who probably does and i'll go ahead and give you another shot down here of your living area this is what you'll see uh when you're coming from the master bedroom so nice and open that's one thing that they did really well in this in this floor plan despite it being shorter all right let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the bathroom now and take a look at the features in there all right guys so we're in the bathroom of this 298 arctic wolf and the first thing that i want to tackle in the bathroom it's going to be this 30 by 36 inch shower. It's a nice big shower, not too big like some of these ones where you see a six foot long shower. Um, but again, you've got plenty of space. You have the Nautilus shower uh, curtain. This is a retractable curtain. It self squeegees it off. And it's made out of a mold and mildew resistant material, which is pretty neat. Um, they did recess the plumbing down here. Uh, into the floor so that does give you a little more headroom i'm 6'2 ish and uh, i have plenty of headroom in this fifth wheel uh, i don't even necessarily have to be in the bubble 
Um, so if you're six five ish, you have plenty of room to stand up here in this in this particular fifth wheel. So you've got the skylight up there. Uh, you do have the bigger Max Air vent fan. That is a staple of the Cherokee product. So if you want to open some windows and turn this fan on, you can get some cr good cross ventilation, which is really cool. Panning down, you've got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Um, that is a heat vent, by the way. That's the only heat vent in the floor in this particular unit. And that's just because it's, it's out of the way. You're really not going to step on it or anything. All right. Spinning around. Go ahead and open up this medicine cabinet here. You've got a nice deep medicine cabinet. Um, plenty of storage for whatever you need to put in there. It does have a mirror on it, by the way. GFI protected outlet down there. Thermal foil countertops. They didn't just scale down because we're in the bathroom. It still has the same countertops. Huge sink, by the way. And then down here, this side is plumbing access. And then this side would be perfect for a small bathroom trash can, which is, it's very thoughtful. Coming up over here, this is the thing that makes this bathroom just stand out, in my opinion. You got this little shelf, so this would be good for hair dryers, or well, not hair dryers, but curling irons, shavers, extra toothpaste, whatever you want to stick there whenever you get to your uh, destination. And then back here you have this massive linen closet. And you're probably wondering what's behind this wall and what's underneath here. So this is where your TV mount goes in your bedroom on the other side, which I'll show you here in a minute. And underneath here is actually your hanging wardrobe. So they didn't waste that space in the uh, in the bathroom. They repurposed it to go from the or to be used from the bedroom. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the bedroom features now. Uh, so see you back here in just a second. All right, guys. So we're in the bedroom of this 298 Arctic Wolf. And you do have a solid swing door to separate this off, which is really neat. 60 by 80 True Queen in the Arctic Wolves now. They went away from the Short Queen. And the way you tell that, uh, note, note that blue LED accent light that, on that shelf, by the way. So when you're looking at Arctic Wolves, if you see the relax in the, in the bedroom, that means that you get a 60 by 80 bed. If you see a word up here above the bed that says sweet you get a 72 by 80 king bed now the the suites will have the bed in a slide out and again that's why i said at the beginning if you want something a little bigger check out the 3660 suite instead of the 298 uh, but that's the difference between the two in case you're wondering so you've got dual reading lights up there which i conveniently forgot to turn on but it's okay We'll roll with it. You have the uh, nightstands on both sides. And you'll also notice you have uh, household. And then this right here is a, uh, a mount for the Furion lit speaker. Um, it's, it's a little expensive for a Bluetooth speaker. But uh, man, it, it's a good speaker. I just recently purchased one. Um, check them out. Uh, it... it it's definitely worth looking into. Um, not trying to sell you their products, but it is something that I would, uh, I would, you know, look into it. Uh, there is storage underneath the bed too, by the way. Uh, if we open up these, they're not wardrobes. They're just extra cabinets, which is pretty neat. You do have cross ventilation on this side as well as the other side. And that's one reason they went away from the slide outs in the bedroom uh, compared to the previous models so that they could make their bedrooms a little bit bigger give you a 60 by 80 queen and lighten the hitch weight so that they these can be towed by half ton pickups all right let's take a look at the wardrobe storage now pardon my terrible camera work so you've got huge hanging closets these are actually bigger than the ones in the wardrobe slide which is awesome any story or more storage is better than none in my opinion you got shoe storage down there heat duct and then you've got your tv bracket here so if you wanted to add a bedroom tv you can 
I would recommend replacing that with a swing out bracket, personally. And then lastly, you do have the optional 15,000 BTU secondary AC. Now this is fully ducted, um, which is again, really cool versus a drop-in air. This is gonna be more efficient uh, compared to the drop-in airs if you were to add one aftermarket on the specific one that you're looking at. Um, but yeah, that's, that's gonna wrap it up for the bedroom and really the interior features. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll jump out to the outside now and take a look at some of those features. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this 2020 Arctic Wolf 298LB. And the first thing I wanna touch on, you've got a fully molded fiberglass front cap and it does have the LED docking lights on it. Standard hitch pin, so uh, if you want to upgrade to say a turning point or a Moride or orbital or road armor or the Moride uh, shock dampening pin box, you can. Up in here, you've got your two front landing legs as part of your auto leveling system, which I'll talk about here in a minute. Your spare tire is up in here out of the weather. Battery box, battery disconnect as part of your juice pack and uh, a little bit extra storage for uh, some things if you want to stick them in there. So great extra storage there. Coming down the off door side, you got your pro one propane tank here. Whoops, there we go. 20 pounder, one on each side, so you can exchange them a little easier. Here's one baggage door. We'll look at it from the other side. And then right here, you've got your, uh, all of your hookups. Um, you got your cable, your satellite, your fresh water fill, city water, and black tank flush which is really neat. It's all in one connection. And that's one thing that they changed from last year. Uh, next to that, you've got your furnace. Two slide outs on this side. Uh, they are cable driven, which, and I know they get a bad rap sometimes, but these are actually the most expensive slide system and we really don't work on them too much. Uh, of course, there's gonna be rare exceptions to that rule, but we don't really work on them here much. dual axles as you can see you also have the green stem tap stem caps which means you have the tire pressure monitoring system on this particular one which is pretty cool if your stem caps are green you're good to go if they're red or yellow then you need to check your air pressure in that particular tire above that you've got your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition uh, that gives you about 17 gallons an hour when you're running uh, both of them at the same time. Here's that second slide out. And back here, you'll have your outside shower and your 50 amp service. Uh, all Arctic Wolves are 50 amp service standard. Uh, it just depends on whether or not you have the second AC or not. All LED tail and marker lights, backup camera prepped, and this particular one does not have a ladder, but I believe you can add that as an option if you if you really wanted to. Oh, before we go on any further, all Arctic Wolves are prepped for the easy addition of an accessory or towing hitch. Um, we prefer the accessory one, uh, but if you did want to uh, add a towing hitch, uh, you could. Make sure you consult the Forest River warranty before you do so. Over here on the campsite of the RV now, you do have a propane quick quick disconnect, which is right down there. You can see that little tag flapping. Single slide out on this side, bringing your total slide out number to three. And as we come over here, you do have the Lion's Head West Lake, or West Lake Lion's Head tires. Those have a five year defect warranty, two years roadside assistance from Lion's Head and 12 months no questions asked for replacement guarantee on your tires which is awesome triple step more right entry that'll flip up inside the door has adjustable feet and is very secure exterior uh, grab handle again this is the 298 lb and forest river this is really cool forest river is partnering with koa 
to help fight cancer in children. That's that's a neat thing. Um, they recently started doing that, and uh, uh, they're they're I like that they're uh, partnering with KOA to uh, help a good cause. All right. So you've got some storage here, little exterior uh, pocket for whatever you want to put in there. This is uh, for cable and satellite, which I'll show you here in a second. Magnetic door catches. Pardon my terrible camera work. Cable satellite hookups. And you'll also notice aluminum double-sided welded construction and insulated upper deck. You'll notice that LED light strip in there too. And these do have the slam latches. You also have your leash latch connection there which is pretty cool and the Furion solar charger so if you want to add another portable panel you can this does have the Cherokee juice pack on it which is a 50 watt solar panel uh, battery disconnect solar charger and battery from the factory lastly you've got a power awning with LED lights and exterior speakers with built-in LED lights as well all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for this 298 Arctic Wolf at Custom RV. If you're interested in this unit, please feel free to give us a call at 806-335-2336 or give us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit that thumbs up, uh, like, share, and subscribe to keep up with more of these videos. Uh, also, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.